a genie bus tweet. I miss KB, Kobe Bryant. He would understand and explain everything that I'm not allowed to. Honestly, he was the greatest Laker ever. I'm just going to let that repeat that for a second. Honestly, he was the greatest Laker ever. He understood the team over self, meaning your rewards would come if you valued team goals over your own, and then everything would fall into place. All can reply. What? Dave, that's my <laughs> Dave, that's my answer. What? Oh man, this is some murky territory because I'm not asking you to, I don't want you to go on the ledge that you don't know. Well, no, I'm just saying let's try to explain the pitfalls that exist in having this conversation. Kobe Bryant. I loved watching him play. I watched him play since the time I was in middle school. He went to a local rival school eight miles down the road from where I went to school. I loved covering him. What a tremendous competitor. He's had Magic Johnson call him the greatest Laker of all time. Unassailable resume that just evokes all sorts of wonderful memories. And certainly the tragedy is still very raw. If we were to actually go back and look with an objective eye at Kobe Bryant's time with the Lakers, there are things that would lead you to say he was not the greatest teammate. There are things that lead you to say that the way his contract was structured prevented the Lakers from winning late in his career, which in turn led to the longest down spiral in the history of the franchise prior to LeBron James deciding to come in 2018. And so that's why I got to lay it all out there like that uh, because to have an honest conversation here can be tough because you know emotions are raw and he also demanded estimate, a trade at one point oh yes he did oh yes he did yeah uh in my estimation and listen other parties involved here and i'm talking about lebron james he's conducted business this way in the past by putting out cryptic, cryptic tweets that quite frankly, I don't think helped the process along what his teams were going through in that moment. Agreed. And I don't think Jeannie Buss's tweet is helping get business done at a high level in this moment as well. Agreed. Andrew, what did you think of that? No, it's, it was definitely one of those things you look at. I remember seeing it this morning and you're like, it's, it just, it kind of today's point, it raises more questions than I think you would like to have at, at this point in the process. You, you kind of want to be in a situation where it's, it's the cleanest possible. You don't, you don't have that many outside stuff. And when, when something like that happens, it just kind of raises, like I said, a lot, a lot more questions that I think uh, that anybody really wants to deal with at this point. Jeannie Buss has been on Twitter since 2009. She is extremely experienced now is what it means to be the president and co-owner of the Lakers and knows that her words are very powerful as LeBron does too. LeBron knows when he tweets something, it will instantaneously be reacting. And Jeannie probably how many times a day wishes she could tweet something and doesn't because she knows that the consequences of her making comment on the record are vast and she can't control them. Um, I could only imagine during the Showtime uh, series or the uh, HBO series um, about the Showtime Lakers, uh, where every single week her father was being portrayed in a certain way, even though I happen to love the character in the show. I never <laughs> met Jerry Buss, the man. I loved the character in the show. Um, but, you know, it wasn't my father. So how am I going to say how she's going to feel? But my guess is she didn't love it. And I don't know how I would feel if uh, my teenage self or, you know, young adult self was being portrayed. <laughs> it wasn't me who said that was. Uh, she could have made comments on that and she didn't. Um, uh, so, you know, if she can't even, she's not even commenting on that, much, much less actually her team. 
And yet she comes out with this tweet. And by the way, like you don't even know, need to know, like, of course, LeBron wants the Lakers to trade for Kyrie Irving. I mean, Dave, do you, Dave, do you want to have your salary doubled? Is it, is it controversial to say something that's obvious? Like, uh... thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.